Does the Trinity contradict logic? Yes, it does. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's all. Just kidding. Let's see it. Where people bring up the logical problem of the Trinity as their argument against Christianity. If you affirm the Trinity, you affirm the seven following premises that there is one God, that the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Now, critics of the Trinity will make the claim that this leads to tritheism. So it doesn't lead to tritheism immediately. It actually leads to incoherence. When you affirm the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and these three are not each other, you are making three is God statements where the subjects are not identical. So it logically follows there are three gods. Yeah, so this is a portion of the LPT or the logical problem of the Trinity objection. We hear from Muslims and anti-Trinitarians basically claiming that the Trinity goes against the principle of non-contradiction. No, making three is God's statements does not logically follow there are three gods. You are already building a false premise by not differentiating between person and being. The three gods issue presented by the LPT is answered by both social Trinitarianism and relative identity Trinitarianism. That God is trying when counting by persons, but uni when counting by gods, or tripersonal, but monotheistic. And then when you follow that up with there is only one god, you end up with the conclusion that there are three gods and there are not three gods, which is logically incoherent. So the only reason it's logically incoherent in the premise you set up is because you are counting by being. As I mentioned earlier, you fail to understand that there is plurality when referring to the hypostases and singularity when referring to the being. In other words, you cannot affirm all seven of those premises. They cannot all be true at once, but Trinitarians do affirm all seven of those premises. Again, you can affirm all of those premises if you say there is one being in three distinct persons. The position you've assumed in our attacking is something like there are three persons who are one person or one being who is three beings, which absolutely no form of Trinitarianism holds to. Now, when you try to explain the Trinity of how it's not a logical contradiction, that's when you fall into either tritheism or modalism or partialism, some kind of heresy or some kind of incoherence. In other words, the orthodox Trinitarian stance cannot be true. So this is what I wanted to get to because you have failed to understand not only the egalitarian models of the Trinity, but you also have no clue what the orthodox or the monarchical view of the Trinity is. As you just reiterated part of the LPT argument, which is the three gods issue, without knowing that the LPT as a whole doesn't even address monarchical Trinitarianism. But to be fair, the orthodox brother you responded to didn't present to you the orthodox or the monarchical view, but you just kind of ignorantly without having any idea of what the orthodox view of the trinity is presented a part of the lpt and funny enough you presented the part that is easily answered by all trinitarian models which is the three gods problem stay tuned for part two where i break down why the lpt argument fails when it goes head to head with monarchical trinitarianism